Hi everybody, Armored Pants here and I have a video for you. This is the Icebreaker tank. This is the special event tank which is available with the Battle Pass. Um, this is a, a, a tank which I guess a lot of you are going to get and a lot of you asked me to do this video. I like the looks so I will get straight into it. Now we're going to have a look at tech spec of course. We'll use blitzhanger.com to do that. Now, obviously, this is not a real tank, right? But of course, it is a variant of the Tiger tank. And therefore, a lot of people get excited about it because the Tiger is one of, if not the most iconic tank of World War II. And this obviously has a slightly different uh, engine added to it and some different camo, etc., to give it that wintry, ice-breaking look. And let's, so let's have a look at the tech details of this tank within blitzhanger.com so in terms of provisions i would run chocolate improved fuel and chocolate bar which will max out the performance i would run gun rammer supercharge and refined gun which is a good setup usually for a heavy tank it has the 88 millimeter iconic tiger tank gun but obviously at tier 6 it has its teeth pulled and it bears no resemblance whatsoever to this gun in world war ii Reload time is 7.2 seconds with gun rammer, which is kind of just okay. And the pen is 150 millimeters and 200 millimeters with AP and APCR and 44 millimeters with HE. Obviously, if you want to run calibrated shells, that goes up to 158, 210, and 48 millimeters, respectively. Um, the damage um, per shell type is 220. Uh, for AP, 190 with APCR and 270 with HE, which is why perhaps you may want to consider using calibrated shells. I personally don't, but um, of course it is an option. Muzzle velocity is low, right? It's 10.05 meters per second with AP and HE and only 12.56 with APCR. That's basically the same as the Lux and uh, with APCR and it's much lower than the Lux, which is only a tier four pew pew gun. And um, so, you know, it's something to consider. Gun index is 10.4, which is good. And this is largely due to the dispersion, not the muzzle velocity. The dispersion is quite low. So it has good gun handling, as you would expect from a German gun system. Um, however, as I said, um, you know, um, it is nothing like what this 88mm gun was like in effect, where it was perhaps the most fearsome weapon of World War II. The mobility index is 2.4, which is very good for tier 6 heavy. Any heavy tank that has a mobility index over 2 is pretty good and a lot of that is down to the traverse and like all the tiger family it has great traverse which makes it a great brawler concealment numbers are 290 meters um sorry 259 uh, meters and 272 meters if a tank is looking at you with a view range of 290 meters um, and your own view range is 271 meters so it's it's not great but actually it's not bad for a heavy tank um you're not going to get spotted up that early in the game um, you can see here it has a um, decent armor profile, has some frontal armor, and um, it has big gun mantlet by the way, right? It has a big gun mantlet, as you can see it covers almost all of the turret when you're front on, and you're going to see that come into effect in the gameplay that we look at where I utilize that. It also has 8 degrees of gun depression and um, 15 degrees of elevation so it has decent gun alignment too it has some spaced armor on the sides which at the back of the tracks which will protect you um, from track damage which the uh, standard tiger doesn't have but you know if you're wondering what this game what this tank is like basically you've probably played it before if you've ever played the tiger 131 or the uh, kuramura mina and um, the uh, tanks uh, the panzer on girls um, and a tier 6 premium tank which is also uh, ironically available for sale at the moment too with pop-up buffers or in a bundle for all the girls and panzer um, uh, tanks which are available so um this is nothing new and um, if we just look here to tiger 131 very quickly you'll see that it's all of the same um characteristics in terms of gun handling everything is the same so there's nothing new here and you're kind of wondering then, well, why did they do this? Well, I think, you know, it is, you know, a Tiger tank, so people will want it for sure. Um, and it is something a bit different in terms of its camo. But in terms of its gameplay, it's absolutely nothing that you haven't seen before, nothing that you will not, uh, that you will not have experienced before. So there's nothing special there. And of course, my own view on this whole Tiger Tier 6 thing is I don't understand why it's there. I don't understand why you would pull the teeth or the claws of one of the most dangerous if not the most dangerous tanks of world war ii and make it into something which is a kind of a, 
a shadow of its actual self at tier six. Um, I understand that the tiger one is in tier seven um, and maybe didn't want to clutter that with a whole load of tigers. But now there's three tigers at tier six anyway, none of which actually reflect the um, capabilities of the tiger itself. So don't really understand what was going on there. It doesn't really make much sense to me. But, you know, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. And I doubt Wargaming will listen to uh, any of us anyway. You can see here um, um, the tank uh, where we wipe for countdown. It has this sort of um, glowing sort of um, ice crystal um, lights on the side. It has this um, ice engine at the back, which we see, uh, which is obviously completely... Uh, this is all made up, of course. It has this ice breaking um, sort of... Um, claw shovel thing in the front of it as well um but you know it's basically a tiger tank with some stuff added onto it right um as i said it has this mobility index right so it is pretty mobile tank and as i'm top tier in this game i just decide to go front on um, and you can see here what i said about the um the turret armor right i'm gonna get a load of bounces here I'll basically cause just havoc. I actually think I get a scout badge in this game because absolute havoc. There's the eight degrees of gun depression in action. Reverse back down again. Gonna get another bounce here. The VK30 um, 0110 managed to pen me. Um, but I'm causing all sorts of trouble here in this. When you're top tier in this, it is a good tank. I played a lot of games when I was bottom tier as well. If I think actually think this is the only game I played in it when I was shooting a video when I was top tier. If you are um bottom tier then obviously these tactics you can't be so aggressive but what i'd suggest is then that you simply um go and support your top tier heavies tank is more than capable of that you also have the option by the way of going to support your mediums because of that mobility index this tank can kind of keep up with mediums so you have a good chance of going with them and supporting them too especially um if you are bottom tier you can go and support your tier seven mediums um so there are a couple of options with this tank but if you're top tier you can be aggressive with it and um, it will get bounces as you saw especially um when if you're not up against the big um tier seven guns and um, obviously tier seven is kind of difficult to play at the moment with the smasher and the annihilator and these really um, and even the lichen I would say because of its armor profile difficult to pen so it is difficult when you're up tiered in this tank because basically this is sort of you know um, not an OP tank um, and you know we struggle to pen a bit when you're up against um, those sort of OP um, fantasy tanks that they now have in tier 7 um, but therefore you need to be a bit more cautious in it but you can see this gameplay is um, sort of revealing um, and a good example of the good characteristics of this tank, which is basically its mobility, its good gun handling, um, and that turret armor. And you saw also, if you're angling up, you can get bounces off um, even big caliber guns like the 85mm gun on the T34-85, which you saw there. Just by angling up, I was able to show them the apex of my um, armor, and they got a bounce off those angles there. Clear off the stoke and we're going to clear off the t34 now as well see t34 medium tank but i'm actually able to go with him um, and i'm actually able to catch him up get another shot in on him fluff that one but get another shot in him that's what happens when you don't have vertical stabilizer on a heavy tank fluff another shot but i get this one straight in and then ram damage that um uh, ice shovel on the, on the front of the tank coming into play there so you can see there pretty decent game and a pretty good um sort of um example of the strengths of this tank in action um almost 3k of damage um, and you can see there um we'll have a look at the second one we look at the medals but i got a scouting medal which you don't often get in heavy tanks but i think overall you know just you know this tank is decent right but it's nothing spectacular and it's definitely nothing you haven't seen before but of course it's a collectible tank and i know that many of you and of course as a tiger variant many of you will want it in your garage and definitely it's well worth the garage slot right there's nothing wrong with this tank um but you know it is slightly underwhelming in that there's nothing here you haven't seen before and it's basically a kuromura mina or a tiger 131 in uh, in some slightly different uh, livery and um, I guess another thing about it is, which I have a problem with, is I don't understand why these Tiger tanks are in tier 6. Because this, 
and where the 88, mil, 88 millimeter gun has has its teeth pulled because this definitely doesn't reflect either that gun or how the tiger was either performed or was perceived during world war ii where it was seen as one of the most fearsome uh, pieces of military machinery in the war and um, anyway let's have a recap this is a decent tank and um, as a collectible tank of course it has a better credit coefficient it's 94 percent i'm guessing that because it's what the coral more mean is it how they haven't released information on yet but i assume that's what it is but there's nothing new here right but as i said it is a collectible tank so therefore i assume that many of you would want to have it in your collection and as i said it's definitely worth a garage slot and um, and of course as a tiger variant and uh, we all like to have it but i said it is a tiger with its teeth pulled but no more so or no less so than the Kuro Moramina or the 131. 80 millimeter gun, <laughs> I mean, this was one of the most fearsome gun systems of World War II. This is the gun that Kirk Knipschel took out a T-34 at three kilometers, 3,000 meters with. This tank has, it just doesn't have any resemblance to what it is in Blitz. But nonetheless, it does have gun, good gun handling, but underwhelming DPM. But as you saw, you can get some good scores like the almost 3k in that game. Tank Traverse is excellent, which makes it an excellent brawler, so bear that in mind. This tank can definitely hold its own in any brawl, even with a medium tank, which is a feature, of course, of all the Tiger tanks. Um, and it is overall just a very decent tank. So cheers much. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it enjoyable. Um, and I now, I guess, all remains for me to say is, as always, pants off.